Yeah. All right, where uh, where are we going next with the show? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, <laughs> let's uh, let's. Uh... Champs are still up there. There's yep. uh, tiny garage pedals, a bunch of wild guitars that are up there. Um, so. Everybody, hello! Welcome to Craig. Uh, welcome to the best of the week for New England Craigslist. That is right. That's right. Here we are, going for it. Uh, get it going, Steve. All right. First one, starting off with a bang. Uh, this guitar has been on there for a while, but prices dropped a bit. A 1967 Guild X375. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So for twenty six hundred dollars uh, out of Milford, Massachusetts. Um, <laughs> You know, Guild is a, is a very, uh, should get more credit than they do for, you know, Vintage American Arch Top. They made, yeah. they made great guitars. Um, the Franz pickups uh, that are in these they often get confused with P90s, but they're, they're you know, their own thing. Um, they're awesome. Yeah. <laughs> they're, all right. You know, I've got Vintage Guild with, with the same pickups in it. Um, you know, and just an Arch Top with three pickups like that is cool as hell. This one's not perfect. It's had a little bit of work done. But, I mean, go for it and, and rip it. And have- All right. Uh, Adam East is a uh, super easy out of Wyndham, New Hampshire. There is a K value leader going for 525. Uh, I believe it's a triple pickup. Uh, yep. It actually looks wonderful. Um, looks really clean. I don't know. I didn't really look at the pictures. But uh, those triple pickup uh, value leaders should be going for a little bit more than 525. So it's a great value right away. Uh, if it works, um, and those pancake pickups are, in my opinion, the most underrated of all the old catalog pickups. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Next one. Uh, Eighteen hundred bucks, Millbury, Massachusetts. It's a Doctor Z Maz eighteen, no reverb, with a one by twelve cab, uh, with road cases. That's sweet. Yeah. That's. Sweet. Uh, you know, it's it's expensive, but when you look at the package. Um, Looking at the pictures, it looks like it's one of the older uh, not Part Two uh, that they're currently making. But you know, uh, the no reverb model is known for having a little bit more gain, being a little bit more responsive. Uh, I think there's a Celestian speaker in there, and it's red. The whole damn thing, the head and cab is red. It's cool pretty, as hell. Pretty killer, man. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, oh god, I'm surprised you haven't bought that yet. No. All right, out of New Hampshire, there is a Russian muff going for what is going on with 250 bucks. Why are Russian muffs, uh, they just fucking skyrocketed, didn't they? So did a lot of things. It's, it's on the list of stuff that just went up in price. Like, uh, I remember we used to be able to get them for 100 bucks, and our buddy Farron had one. It was great. I think he probably, I don't think he has it anymore. But uh, that used to be a, a $100 pedal. Yeah. And then, you poof. know, he offered to sell me that years ago for 25 bucks. I was like, ah, I don't want that thing. Motherfucker. He's... All right, your turn. Cool, all right. Um, next one, for 850 bucks out of Boston, Mass, a 2002 Fender Highway 1 strap with a case. Um, Highway 1s, uh, there's uh, people that love them, um, and Highway 1s go for similar money to, you know, your typical American strap of that, that which time is, period. Which is nuts. Which, hey, um, the specs are very similar. Um you know, the Highway 1s have a nitro finish, if that matters to you. Uh, but, you know, this one's cool. Maple with, bl- uh, you know, maple board, blonde finish, torque guard, hard case, 850 bucks. Oh, 850 pretty good. Great deal, yeah. yeah. Um, all right. So, last one out of me is uh, out of Metro West, someone has a bunch of guitar projects. Uh, I didn't look at any of the other ones, just the floral um, offset body, which, pretty cool. I don't know what he's asking for it, but it's yeah. sweet looking. 
It's super sweet looking. Yeah, you got a neck, man. I got a neck to fit it some pickups. Ugh. All right, last one. Um, this one's got a whole bunch of uh, a whole bunch of specs, so it's I'm not going to get into all of it, but it's worth looking up. For two thousand dollars out of Brattleboro, Vermont, uh, Queen City Guitars Martin Single O style guitar uh, that was built. Um, so reading through it, um, looks like it was a you know a luthier that I wasn't familiar with uh, who recently located himself or relocated to Brattleboro and has a bunch of guitars for sale. I think there's about four. Craigslist right now, uh -huh. um, you know, if you're getting the handmade, you know, uh, you know, boutique level acoustic guitar for two thousand dollars, that's a hell of a deal. So you know, it might be worth checking out. That means we're moving on to worst of the weeks. All, All right. right, everybody. The date is. Um, February 5th. February 5th. Yeah, it is February 5th. It yeah. certainly is. All right, February 5th. All right, uh, worst of the weeks. We've got it a uh, ovation legend out of Springfield, Mass. I don't know how much they want for it. Who gives a shit? Uh, the next one we got, uh, there's an ovation collector for 1200 bucks out of New Hampshire. Uh, that's a lot of money, man, for, uh, for an ovation. Hard to, hard to justify that. And the last one, uh, this is fan submitted. A uh, friend of the show, Josh K, out in, I think he's in, I think he's in Oregon uh, or Washington. Uh, out of St. Helen, Washington, there is a turbo muffler guitar. Did you see that picture that I sent you? I certainly did see the turbo muffler. Let's take a trip down to the pedal corner. Okay, I like that. That's good. Um, so this is the first time going into Pedal Corner. I don't have a pedal in my hands. Um, so, you know, we'll put a picture on the screen here. Um, this is one we talked about a little bit on the show when they've come up for sale. But talking about the Strymon Flint, there's a million demos um, that I'm sure you can go find on YouTube. So check it out. Um, this is a fantastic pedal. You got basically reverb and tremolo. You've got three variants on each side. You know, three different reverbs, three different trems. Um, <clears throat> It, it sounds wonderful across the board. It's the kind of pedal that you can't get a bad sound out of. Um, and it's the kind of pedal that if you're running an amp without reverb, this is the kind of pedal that you need to run with it because it's incredibly amp-like. It's not an effect pedal uh, per se. It's not like you're using using a fancy reverb as an effect. This is, you know, going to emulate... Uh, it's going to sound right. It's going to sound like it's coming from the amp, if that, if that makes any sense. Um, and the same thing with the trem. It's going to sound like a trem that was built into an old amplifier. Um, it's a great sounding pedal, and I would highly encourage anybody to go uh, check them out if you don't have reverb already on your oh. and Flint. Go for it. It's one of those pedals where if you don't have reverb in your amp, you should have that in front of it. Oh, I, I disagree. I think the uh, the Dan Electro Spring King is the one. It's the best pedal in the world, man. There's no better reverb sound than it. That Dan Electro one too, isn't it like like so big that you can't even see my hands? Huge, 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 yeah, huge. All right, uh, we want to do a shout out to Music Go Round, uh, a, kind of a store review. Uh, we. You know, done these uh, before. We've actually done music go round before in Natick. Wonderful store. We all like going there. Uh, within the Massachusetts area, it's one of the best for used gear. We know that. Uh, and you got to give them um, a round of applause for their efforts on Instagram with the weird hand thing. So uh, hopefully they keep this going. Uh, I can't wait to see where this hand goes. I'm serious. I, I'm not aware of it. I'll have to go check it out just you to see what... You don't follow Music Go Around Natick on Instagram? I do not. You should. Uh, well, I guess now I'm going to. Yeah. Maybe they'll have us for... Uh, they'll invite us to do a, a demo of something. We'll shoot a demo yeah. with Music Go Around Natick. Um, we've got uh, t-shirts that are... T-shirts on the way. Is some part of the state. We've got some t-shirts that are uh, heading our way. Uh, they're our logo. 
Uh, we'd really appreciate it if you bought them. They're nice t-shirts. They're a tri-blend cotton, slightly fitted. They're, believe me. I, yeah. Believe me. Yeah. We spent the money on them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the old truck t-shirts are not the quality of a t-shirt that the best of the week t-shirt will be. Well. We really like you to buy them. That'd be nice. It would be cool to uh, support us doing this show as we 